it's ready to bust off. Okay, that's fine. You see, you see this? Yeah. Yeah, I can. I can see it. I, don't, I think the camera's picking it up too. Yeah, we're gonna have to jack it up at the same time, and then we're gonna actually abort. What we're gonna have to do. Just so you guys know. Well, I'm going to come around because I want to show the crack on that side, too. Did you see that look on my face? Yeah, I saw that look. You love me. That's not... Well, okay, here's what we got to do, gentlemen. Yeah, that's going to fall right off. The only thing that's holding it is right here. Mm -hmm. That's over. Yeah, okay, so then we're going to have to pick a, a dimension. Take your take your tape measure. I don't know how we're gonna do this, but two squares, two small squares. And measure. Well, you got two plates right here. You get a rough. And you're gonna have to lift or jack right there with that. You follow? So what we're gonna have to do is make this opening square before we even lift up the front. Because right now the axle is supporting it, it's so cracked all the way through. You're going to have to come in here and grind, just, just dive in, make a V cut with a torch or a grinder. And uh, Donna, I'm narrating. I know. Focus on the guy telling you the story. I'm focusing. Uh. I'm going to fire her. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so V that out all the way down as far as you can and then come over here and weld it first as deep as we can here here dive in here get why is that so thin there that's the way it is and do these so what i'm trying to say is just get it parallel mm -hmm. with a jack back there or the, that forklift when it stays use the jack weld it up before we do anything else Cause yeah, when I heard that crack, you're like, whoa, it's gonna come right off. So in other words, they put this on trying to minimize. But yet they're digging well around here. The ones that are there are busted. Right. Well, that's where we're gonna have to go right now. We're gonna have to block that up, get it as square as you guys think you can, and weld it in. Weld it up up here. You're never gonna get all the way down. You might want to just take a torch and just so you can grind it up and then just lay bead upon bead upon bead to so bring it up. At the same time then you might have to put your bolts back in the hole and uh, I doubt it's going to warp it up. So we can actually lift it off here and melt that hole. There, you know what you're doing for the next few hours. right here and get that ring off there and we're going to see what we got underneath there if there's any more cracking. This is cracked from here to here already. Another one of them, what do we call that? A loose rear end. She's got a loose rear end on it. <laughs> Tramp. How long has it been going on, did he say? About a year? This one's a half a hole off, so it's been floating around there. It's just like that whistle we did. Mm -hmm. Hey, babe. I think this is worse. Yeah, this is worse. Being that the frame is broke. At least the whistle frame was good. And it was. That wasn't broke up. It was, yeah, it was broke on here, but it wasn't broke across the main member here. This is the inch and a half thick. Then you're just going to reach in and vertical up it right here. I don't know, it shouldn't be broke under that plate. But I'll 
Somebody already plays it there. Oh yeah. Halfway. halfway. Okay, so do a do a vertical up, a big what do you call that? Like I was showing you the And if you like you can't get in there and grind it, take the torch and burn that paint off. That'll give you a fighting chance. Yeah, give it a good looking over. We have to call it in the chalk room. Yeah, I don't do any more looking on that. Son, fuck, that's bad. I'm surprised this whole back end, this whole exactly long. That one's going to fall off. Especially with no bolts in there. No bolts, and then this one cross bolt was broke. So actually, you only had one bolt holding this whole rear end in for the last one with how long? But whatever, that's not my. We're here to fix it. And what did you say on the last one? The last video, what Wes always used to say. If you can break it, we can fix it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to fix it. What are we doing now, boys? Snapping $300 Where's that ratchet? I got to see that. Look at that. What are we going to say to the Matco guy here? Show that over here. Look at it. Where's that go? On the end? Troy's so huge he broke that without even putting a cheater on it. Look at how little that is. Well, they necked her down. They necked her down and Troy just, he put on the, he ate his Wheaties this morning. What are we doing with this machine now here? Hey, have we seen this before, boys? Oh yeah, look at Oh quarter inch again. Different brand of machine though, right, eh? Yeah. Oh yeah. She's a Fabtech. We saw that crack yesterday, I think. I'm gonna show that today. They welded it so it won't this ass end won't fall off. Hey, look at that. Oh well. Nothing we can't fix, eh, Troy? Correct. Right on. What are you taking apart? The barons? Barons. Is that how you broke the ratchet? Yep. Oh, that takes a big, mighty big man to play with a stick that big, ain't it? Every morning. Every morning. I want to hear that snap. I like that. Oh, you got to Yeah. How many ratchets? We always break ratchets doing that too, don't we? Mm -hmm. The gear head on a ratchet, any ratchet can't handle that. Can they? So the ratchets can't handle that, what he's doing. We always snap the gears in them. <laughs> doing these bogey, bogey, bogey burns. Bogey burns. I thought we were only going to see one of them axles like that in our lifetime. That's two in two months. That's pretty bad. And I'm going to tell a story. Should I tell a story? About a man named Jed. Poor mountaineer, but I kept the semi fed. What I like to do, what we did was, we're not buying cat, we're not buying that part from cat. Why not? Because that's NAF, and what NAF does is they just change the numbers per dealer. But it's all the same part, so we did a little research. We'll save the customer a grand. We'll get them from our source. So. Nothing wrong with that, right? We can spend more money somewhere else in the machine then. Kyle, did you get a hold of the Matco man? Is he going to bring you a new wrench tomorrow? If he's got one on the truck, huh? He said, not a problem. Something you need repaired? I said, make sure you bring one of those big half inch ratchets if you color it doesn't matter. Yeah. Good deal. I'm going to take a picture of it. Okay. 
All right, well, that's what little bit I got today. Troy, are you earning your paycheck again? Yeah. I hate when that happens. Ah, man. That's just insane. We got a lot more to do on there, though. Cracks go down here, cracks go down there. Oh well, now my phone's ringing. I gotta go. Hey guys. Oh, I might as well just finish. Let's start that over. Well, tomorrow we'll get this apart. The guys just left for the day, and I wanted to do a little reminder. Um, I don't ask too often. So anybody watching, look back, watch my other videos, and what you call it and whatnot, so on and so forth. And I'm just asking, it's been a while since I said anything, I'd please subscribe to my channel. I really, what, I really, it'd be great to have more subscribers, that's all. I got a lot of people watching and I appreciate that. It's been really cool and having fun doing it. And I just want to keep, keep doing the stuff and keep that momentum moving and bring you more videos like this show you what we're up to in the shop. So, yeah, the customer actually came by today and said, go ahead and fix this thing up. So we're gonna do just that and uh, get some parts ordered tomorrow for that rear end and, and go from there and do the welding in there and get that all spruced up and beefed up. I can't believe that's that small of a cross section, but at any rate, this is what it is. So yeah, I'm just gonna shout out to you one more time and. So yeah, I appreciate all the subscribers I already have and and uh, just trying to grow the channel a little bit more. So if you can and will, please hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, make comments on the bottoms of the videos. That's always appreciated. I always try to respond and and get back to people and and uh, it's a lot of fun getting to you know get comments going around from all over the world and it's just a neat thing this YouTube business. So, all right, well, I'll bring you back when we get some more new parts for this machine. Even though we've done this kind of work before, we'll go from there. All right, see you, bye. Thanks for watching.